विभति स्थल कृष्ण कव्य पाद पंकज पंजलांत अद्वैन दिशत मानस राज हंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कभवात दिखाई कंठ बदन रस्ते भजन कृतस्ते विभति स्थल टू कृष्ण ओ कृष्ण माइंड मस्ट बी अटैच इन लोटस पीच जस्ट नाउ वाइ इफ यू रिमेम्बर ड्यूरिंग आवर डे भक्त स्टेलिन ओ कृष्ण डोंट चीट मी प्राण प्रयाण समय कप बात पीतई देन डीलिंग ओल्ड एज एंड डीलिंग स्पेशली डीलिंग व्हाइल वी सेल एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड देन आवर वॉइस इज विच आउट वी कैन नॉट अटैच योर नेम वी कैन नॉट रिमेम्बर कंठ भजन कंठ भजन तस्ते भजन को तस्ते और भाई सुनी चौक के अंदर आता है योर नेम सो आवर माइंड विल बी फिक्स फ्रॉम टुडे नॉट टुडे फ्रॉम जस्ट नाउ सो फ्रॉम 80 टू 100 वी आर अनेबल टू चैन अनेबल टू रिमेंबर सो दिस 80 टू 100 इज 20 इयर्स इज यूजलेस सो एट फर्स्ट 50 इयर्स स्पेन फॉर स्लीपिंग And from eighty to hundred, this twenty years for useless time, for useless life. So fifty plus twenty is equal to seventy. So thirty years is still there. So in this material world, we want to enjoy so many things. For maintaining our life, we have to be a great personality. Maybe a doctor. Or as minister, or minister, so many things. So being expert, at least twenty years is needed. So being expert in this material world for enjoying this material world, twenty years is needed. So at first we spend seventy years. Seventy plus twenty is ninety. So ninety years almost done. So rest is ten years. In this ten years, there is uncountable desires. I want beautiful wife. So many sons will become. I have to nourish them. I have to build a house. I have to purchase very good quality of car. Like just one summer, a rose car I have to purchase. So all time will pass. So when I shall do bhajan, so Prabhu is telling. If you start from your boyhood, then impression will come in your mind and heart. Then easily you can progress into the Krishna consciousness. If you not do so, then everything will go in vain. Why do you go for teaching a Harina? If any matter person ask you, better you can chant in old age. Then if Prabhu Maharaj said, "No, common person of Prabhu Maharaj have to start from boyhood." If you not do so, suppose in England there is so many university like Oxford University. If you ask their professor, better don't teach here. Why there is eighty years after that you can give admission them in your university? Is it possible? <laughs> Never is it possible. So if we want to be expert in materially, so we have to start our education from boyhood. But why not this bhajan from boyhood? If we not start bhajan from boyhood, this is not possible for advancing Krishna consciousness. So, Prabhu Maharaj instructs us to the one in front that we have to start our bhajan from boyhood. Then this guy, his friend is telling, "Oh, Prabhu, don't worry. Better teacher is not here. We can play." आज करो सो कल करो कल करो सो परसो क्यों खट खट में पड़े दिए वो समय पड़ा है परसो ओ प्रहलाद डोंट वरी सो मच विच यू स्टार्ट आज टूडे वी शेल डू टूमोरो इफ यू स्टार्ट टूमोरो वी शेल डू डे आफ्टर टूमोरो वाई सो वरी आउ दैट सो लॉन्ग टाइम वी लाइफ फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम डोंट वरी प्रहलाद मार इज टेलिंग सुभस्त सिद्रम ओ माय ब्रदर योर आइडिया इज नॉट गुड कल करो सो आज करो आज करो सो आप कल में प्रलय रहेगी बहुत ही करेगी कल ओ माय डियर फ्रेंड्स डोंट वरी डोंट बी होपलेस आई एम गिविंग यू गुड सजेशन 
what you want to do tomorrow please do today and what you want to suppose to do today please do immediate because none can say when that will come for us if someone invite you that who will join in this assembly that 10000 pound will be distributed for it if you think that i shall go there tomorrow everyone will run as soon as possible so if you want to progress in this no consciousness we have to be so alert that we have not to be delay for a moment so prolog my is giving the suggestion and then all of them began to start kirtan then padaka is suggesting that now you are na uh, boys up 3 4 5 6 or 7 what is this very what like komar ka in why why who why but if now you are so much uh, free from worldly uh, things and your heart is so much plain not written anything there but when you will be mature and if you are married then a, a beautiful wife will come and at that time if you will leave this world to do bhajan then she will be how you can be how a very beautiful and uh, having so many qualities you can be. and if you will have some children one two three four some daughters of some some very beautiful then you will be engaged more in them <coughs> then if you will try to give up all these things you can that oh i will have to support this children now they are like very baby they cannot do anything if i am going giving up this householdness then all they die so how you can if the children are maybe father 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 then how you can be the all this if they are made a very good uh, garden and so many trees flowers are there and if you will decide that i should give up and go to chant and be with association and dona pai vaishnava and chant and remember how can you go oh my who will take care of my this god all flowers will die oh my beautiful dog he cannot live without me a oh, beautiful cow beautiful days you cannot at that time if you want that but you can so better in this childhood you are free from all this that are you thought chant and remember from this time all as students demon boys was so much but inspired inspired but they have some doubt they have some doubt Hello. From where you learn all these things? Very high class of philosophical basic things, and what you are telling, you are true to aspect. So now we have so much faith on you, but we want to know from where you learn so good explanations and all these things. Then what he replied? You should stand up and tell. You cannot. Under it, remember. So आगे गिर जाओ। तुमको पानी लेकर इनको पानी ले आकर के जब भी सेक्शन आएगी नहीं तो अभी जैसे फिर ना होने वाले हैं। Anyone? You can. And very a strong way.
So previously, when Pallad Maharaj had been asked this question, he replied that just naturally that he had this inspiration to serve Vishnu and his devotional mentality was there just coming. But now, because he was um, associating with his friends who were not inimical, um, they were making inquiry. Then he started to reveal his heart. So he explained that previously, um, when his father, Hirani Kashipu, had left him. told that I had heard all these things learned from Nara. That I had some doubt. <coughs> we have never seen that uh, you have been associated with Nara anyhow. We have not seen Nara there yet. And you are only a t very little boy, baby. Then you got uh, the association of Narvrishi, then what? Then he explained that when his father, Ivani Kashipu, had left for um, to perform austerities, that his mother, Kayali... Why, why he went to do austerities? He went to perform austerities to get boon from Lord Brahman. He saw that his, ma his brother, my brother, had been killed by Baraj. So Baraj is not other than Vishnu. And if I am going to take revenge to kill Vishnu, then he should surely kill me. So I should be dead. Ajara Amar. So he that. So that's so then Hirani Kashipu, when he went to um, Mandira Hill to perform his austerities to gain immortality, then at that time the demigods headed by Lord Indra, they, um, they went to, they understood that Kayadu, the wife of Hirani Kashipu, when he went to for astrology, he left anything to take, even water, even dry leaves, even air, everything he left. For 60,000 years he was in a, in a trance. And his body was taken by ants, plants and... <coughs> so when the, when the bone was there, and at that time in Shaktaju, life used to live in bone, not in this body. And here now, if you will not anything, after two, three days he will die. But at that time, life used to live in bone, so he was doing, doing a study for 60,000 years. And in the meantime, what became? So in the meantime, the demigods, understanding that his wife was pregnant. So, headed by Indra, they went because they were thinking that... So, they were thinking that within the womb of Kayadu, that there was another very big potential demon that was coming. So, they went with the intention that they would um, kill the baby that was within yeah. the womb. So at that time, um, Kayadu, she... Um, she ha he attacked with whole soldiers, all demigods. And very big battle was there. The generals of Hirinakashpu were there, they were fighting. But the demigods came all, smashed them. And at last they captured of Kayadu. So then Kayadu, she was uh, calling out for help from... Narada Muni. Then Narada Muni, mm -hmm. he, he began to take they, they, his they mother, take Kayadu. Kayadu, in where? Heavenly planet. So that when he, 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 he will be matured in his home, then boy will come and live. So he was taken. In the way Narada was coming from heaven or any planet to this earth. Why you are doing so nonsense thing? Being a, a demigod and you are taking this lady 
He cannot fight with you. Why you are telling? Then, then Narada Muni explained to um, the demigods that actually the baby that was within the womb was a great devotee. Um, Lord Nidra and the other demigods they were thinking that this was a big demon, but Narada Muni explained no, that this is a very very great devotee, so that you should not um, disturb Kayadu. So then the demigods, understanding the situation, they circumambulated Kayadu, paying obeisances to Palad Maharaj, and then they departed again for the heavenly planets. But Kayadu, she was feeling still some fear because of this situation, and then she asked Narada Muni um, that she receive shelter from Narada Muni, and that also the baby that was within her womb, that he may not, he not be born until um, her husband, Hirani Kashipu, had returned from performing his austerities. So Hirani Kashipu, he performed his austerities, as Maharaj has stated, for 60,000 years, um, just keeping his, the life within the bones. And finally, when he had finished his austerities and asked the benedictions from um, Lord Brahma, then, um, well, in this time, when the austerities were being performed, then, within the hermitage of Narada Muni, Narada Muni was instructing Kayadu in um, spiritual life. He was speaking from, different, from so, all different scriptures, from the Upanishads, from the Vedas, um, Puranas, etc. And explaining so much Lila Kata and giving so much Siddhanta. So, Palat Maharaj was within the womb, and he was hearing all these instructions and harikata from the lips of Srila Narada Muni. So, he also explained that Karmanya Rahmananam okay, Karmanya Rahmananam by karma, but what we are doing, we cannot be happy. Never, never, never. Anyone has not become never happy. If you want to be happy in life, go to very expert guru. And at once take initiation, name and everything. And then try to follow the rules and regulations of devotions. Then they told that, oh, it is very hard. We cannot do this thing. Then Prahlad Maharaj told, oh, Sarveshanam Bhutanam api Hari Rathmeshwara Priya Bhutanam Mahadvishti Kritai Kritanam Jiva Sangita Yash Eternal Servant of God. Eternal Servant of Krishna. Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead. So there is nothing uh, hard to, um, to chant, remember, devotional activities. Naturally we can do these things. We should accept that Krishna is our holy master, his father, his mother, his everything. So doing like this, so after going to Gurudev and taking initiation, we should learn how to begin our activities, Uttama Bhakti parties. Then he will teach everything. He will tell everything, like Siksha Guru, everything. And then he will tell that there are Bhakti of um, 64 kinds of. In them, five are prominent. Nine are prominent for Prahlad Maharaj Mahatma. Samadam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Svarnam. And among them, five are most important. Sadhu Sangha, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavad Samar, Mathura Bhas, Srimutte, Sabdhaya, Sakal Sadhana Shrestha, Epancha. Among all the devotional, eh? these five are so much prominent. If anyone not doing any offense and is touched by any of the five, eh? chanting name, being in any 
of any very good qualified guru and Vaishnava. Worshipping very faithfully and hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. So any of the five, if you, you are touched any or a little, and among all these things, most important and root of all bhakti is Hari Nam Shakti. Sarva Nam From today, from just now, we should become Hari Nam They told us that how we can be. We, we should be expert in instruments. No, no, no need, no need. We should bring any instrument. No, no, nothing. Vali Krishna has given Karthal here in hands. They can do it. Karthal one. And Krishna has given very beautiful tongue and mouth and three. So, they can do from here today, just now, they are all agreed that we will follow him. So, then Prabhupada Maharaj was doing, oh, repeat me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare
Kemudian Dengan aku Kau di Hansop Sanama Hangan Sanci Laduri Durminita Durminitino Disobedient Disobedient My how My family is so restricted And you have become like that And axe, handle of an axe, and you cut like whole dynasty, dynasty, like a sandal. Oh, I will teach you this. Who is telling you? I want to. Then what he told? You know, you can. Anyone can tell. You can tell. What happened? Tony, you should tell. Where, where? She has played away. Dita, Manta, Atma Kula Bheda Naradham, Stabdham, Masasana Udbhutam, Nishetam Jamak Shanti. You are not calling me. They are showing all the way. You are asked for our dynasty. You are Stabdham. You are like it. Your like a stone, nothing understanding, no intelligence at all. Oh, now I am going to. And then, what we get? Who is your protector and who is your bulb? Bulb and strong. So, Hirani Kashipu, now he became very furious with his boy, Pralad Maharaj. He said to his, he said to Pilar Maharaj, Don't you know that all of the demigods in this world, they are afraid of me. Uh, only I raise my eyebrow and they become filled with fear. I am so powerful. Yet I see that you are not afraid of me when I am standing before you, ready to kill you. Why are you not afraid? From where are you deriving your strength? Pilar Maharaj said, My dear father, Pilar Maharaj, being very humble and polite, replied to his father, My dear father, I derive my strength from the same place that you derive your strength, from Vishnu. In the name of Vishnu, then um, Hirani Kashibu became more incensed because he is the murderer, the killer of his brother. He's the arch enemy of Hirani Kashibu. Then uh, Hirani Kashibu said, my dear boy, I think that you have become over-intelligent. Speaking in this way, this is the type of talk indulged in by persons who are about to die. So now, I will kill you. And then he asked Pralad Maharaj, Where is your Lord now? Let us see him if he can save you. Where is your Lord? Pralad Maharaj said, My dear father, my Lord is everywhere, in every atom. Hirani Kashipu said, He's everywhere. Is he in this pillar? This stone pillar? And Pralai Maharaj, he, his vision was such that he looked in the pillar and he could see there. But he is strong with Hiko. With Amitabh. Yes. <laughs> My Lord is everywhere. Even in this pillar. And looking in the pillar, he could see Lord Nasringadev waiting there and smiling at him. So then, Hirani Kashipu, he had no faith, he did not believe this. And with great anger, he took up his sword. And without using his sword, he broke the pillar with his fist. And then he began cursing and swearing at his boy, because now he would sever his head from his body. He said, now, let me see my, your Lord save you. I will sever your head from your body, like this. And he was just about to kill uh, Prahlad Maharaj, when suddenly there was the most Tremendous rule. <laughs> and he was looking here. And he was looking here and there. Where is, what is that? Where did that come from? <laughs> and then he was just about to kill Pralad Maharaj when suddenly <laughs> the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, appeared in a most wondrous, fearful, and frightening and awesome form, a most astonishing form which had never been seen before, which was very, very powerful and white 
the body of a man and the head of a lion. He was so big that the hairs of his mane would send it, the airplanes of the demigods spinning into outer space. <laughs> Fire, was coming. Fire was coming from him. His eyes were red like fire, and his tongue was moving about like a dueling sword. Oh, didn't have hands. <laughs> he had thousands and thousands of hands, and in his hands he was holding many, many weapons. So, then he ran to Shiku. Sing, Lord Singh Day. He thought, whoa, what is this amazing creature? I have never seen anything like this before. And then he took up his sword thinking, actually I have benediction from Lord Brahma. He cannot be killed. So whoever he is, whatever, whatever he may be, cannot kill me. So he took up his sword and shield and ran at Lord Singh Day. Exactly like a tiny mosquito goes into a blazing fire. So, <laughs> then the fight began, and sometimes Lunya Singh Day, he would catch uh, Hirani Kashpu in his grip, like this. And at this time, all the demigods who had been living under the fierce tyranny of Hirani Kashpu, they began to cheer, Jai, Jai, Jai. And then he, when Hirani Kashpu would slip from the grasp of Lunya Singh Day, then he would become morose. Oh no, what will happen to us now? And they became so afraid. So Lodi Singh Dev, he can very easily kill Hiranya Kashipu, but he's playing with him. He's having some um, virya ras. Previously, uh, Narayan in Vaikuntha, he had this desire in his heart. Uh, I would like to relish this virya ras, the desire to fight. Hmm? But with whom can I fight? Hmm? Everyone in Vaikuntha, they are all my devotees, they will not fight with me. And if I go to the material world, no one is qualified. Uh, no one can give me a good match. So, by the arrangement of Krishna's, uh, the Supreme Lord's Yoga Maya, the pastime took place that the four Kumaras, they went to Vaikuntha and were stopped by Jayan Vijay. And then, the four Kumaras, they cursed Jayan Vijay to appear in the world to take birth as demons. So, the Supreme Lord's own devotees, they had appeared in this world as Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashipu. So now, Lundar Singh Day was enjoying very much this uh, very harassed fighting with Hiranya Kashipu. So sometimes you catch him and sometimes let him slip. Mm -hmm. And another reason that slip, then all demigods began to tremble. Yes, when all the demigods were, their hearts were shaking in fear. And then, another reason Bhutan Shingrad did not immediately kill Hiranya Kashipu was because he wanted to keep intact the benedictions given by Lord Brahma. His dear devotee Lord Brahma had given the benediction to Hirani Kashipu that he could not be killed during the day or the night. He could not be killed in the, on the land, in the air, in the sky, in the water. He could not be killed by any uh, creature created by Lord Brahma. He could not be killed by any man or any animal. He could not be killed by any weapon. He could not be killed inside any building or outside of any building. He could not be killed in any year. So, so many benedictions. And having all of these benedictions, Hirani Kashipu was very confident. Yes, now I am immortal. Hmm? But Lord Nishigade was waiting for that time, the time of dusk. It was not in the day and not during the night. And at that exact moment, Hirani, Ka uh, uh, Hirani Kashipu was grasped by Lord Nishigade. And Lord Nishigade placed him on his lap. So he was neither on the land or in the sea or in the sky. And he was neither inside or outside of the house because Lord Nishingh Dev was sitting with him on his lap in the threshold, in the doorway. <coughs> and uh, Lord Nishingh Dev, he did not kill him with any weapon, but rather just taking his very sharp and pointed nails. He, not in any year? Uh, oh, not in any year. This was leap, leap, the leap year day. So, in this way, <laughs> all of the... Uh, words of Lord Brahma, the, the words of a, of a pure devotee, they must prove to be true. And Krishna will always protect the words and the promises of his devotees. So to keep intact the benedictions of Brahmaji, then Hirani Kashi, uh, Lord Nishingade, he killed the Hirani Kashipu at this exact time, in this act, exact way. And he appeared, not in the form of a human being, and not in the form of an animal, but half man and half animal. Uh, why he appeared? To, to 
Porque o que
than Prahlad Maharaj told. The Siddhi was instructed me to take any benediction. Then I learned that my father has done so much, offended you, offended me. He has given so much uh, trouble. trouble to all the devotees here. He has cut all the um, green trees that anyone cannot uh, have any wood or fruits. He has killed all the cows that he cannot come, milk cannot come, butter cannot come to for devotional activities, for hum, jagya, fire sacrifice. And he had killed all the brandings at that time. So he had done so much. One very grander mistake of himself. So please uh, excuse him. For him. For him. He told that, oh, you're so done for the father. Your father has been liberated. liberated. Because those who are of high class, Uttam Vaishnava, in their dynasty, upper and lower, 21 generation, generation, all father, all mothers, all will be liberated. And those who are in Madhya Madhika, always chanting, remembering, doing devotional activities, their 14 generations, 14 generations will be quickly And those who are now Kanishta Dikari, taking initiation and doing chanting, remembering, and try to do uh, Shuddha, pure Harinam, pure devotional activity, but they cannot do it. Even seven generation uh, should be liberated. So don't worry. Then he told that. Again he told, insisted, that I want to be any benediction because my darshan is abhyartha. So you not go in vain. In vain. So you should want it. Then he told, I want that all these conditioned souls are forgetting me. And they are now doing so many bad things. And they are suffering so much. I cannot tolerate. I want that my all good things should be given to them so that they may be devoted. I want to take the, all their sufferings and bad fruit of bad activity. And for life and life, but I want to suffer suffer for them. But they should be liberated. Then Prahlad Maharaj, mm. Nishinga Dev told, I am defeated, Nishinga Dev told, I am defeated. And you have warned me. Now I am myself giving you this benediction. That anyone hear this Harikatha about myself and yourself, this Prahlad Upatka, the pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj and Nishingade, that will be quickly liberated. And anyone has not to suffer, you will have not to suffer. So, you now, if anyone doing Chanting, remembering Nishimha Dev and Prahlad Maharaj. Anyway, participating in this function here in Abhishek, here in Harikatha, this sweet and powerful Harikatha here, all should be liberated by Nishimha Dev. If Nishimha Dev promises this, <coughs> that anyone here, I'll make them, but liberated from this world, and all their suffering, sorrows and everything I will take. So he will must take. He will take. You should have a very good strong faith. He cannot cheat us. What he will tell, he will surely do. So you should have a very strong faith that he will be merciful to us and gradually we will develop our Krishna consciousness. And he will give inspiration for Bhakti Rai. So, after this, we will do what Abhishek of Nishimha Dev today. First, some Kirtan and then Abhishek of Nishimha Dev. We will do like Indian forest, not so much tightened by 
coat and everything. Well, we have that other. They should take and do. Two, three persons. Who will do? Ravana, Bhatta, Namin. They can all do. And very simple. He knows, he will show, and he will do. Quickly take apart your cloth and do it. First take Ashman and do it. Two, three persons can help. Sudam uh, Sathar and Kundari, they can help. And he should also do it. Quickly, or oh, he should do some Krita. Or oh, he should do Krita. All right.